At EMC, we heard our customers. They loved PowerPath VE and how it extended vSphere 4's uh, native multipathing capabilities, but they wanted a simpler and easier way to install it, patch it, and update it. VMware Update Manager and vSphere 4 Update 1 can handle third-party extensions, and we've worked with VMware to be able to integrate that capability with PowerPath VE. This is a quick demonstration. So what we have here is we've got a vSphere 4 Update 1 cluster as well as some standalone vSphere 4 Update 1 ESX hosts. Uh, they have varying degrees of PowerPath VE installation. Some of them don't have it installed at all. Um, and some of them are using PowerPath VE 5.4, which was the initial uh, GA release. One thing that's worth noting here is that this was actually constructed using a pre-release version of uh, uh, Update 1. So you might see very, very uh, minor, I would call them non-material differences between the uh, final GUI and GA capability. vSphere 4 Update 1 includes many cool updates to both vCenter 4 as well as vSphere ESX 4. Um, and there's lots of places you can go to read about that, but let's focus in on the update manager changes or VUM changes. Now VUM is used to patch and update both ESX or VM level operations, but it hasn't been able to handle uh, third party patches traditionally for the VM kernel, such as EMC's PowerPath VE or the Cisco Nexus 1000V. Here you can see that there are patch sources for both ESX, for Linux, and for Windows, but now you have the ability to simply and easily add a third-party patch source. So let's go ahead and do that now. For the purposes of this demonstration, we're using an internal EMC host. But as PowerPath VE versions in the future get released, these would be an internet-based URL where you can get patch definitions as well as the patches themselves. Once we've added a third-party source, it's simple and easy to do and apply, and then uh, be able to uh, indicate download now, which basically downloads the patch definitions uh, from that third-party source. Once we've updated our uh, patch definitions, it's simple and easy to go and add uh, a, a baseline that will be applied against the ESX host. Notice that there's now this extension baselines capability within VMware Update Manager in Update 1, uh, which is focused on third-party VM kernel level patches. So uh, we're patching PowerPath VE, so we'll give it a definition. And you'll notice that from the patch source, it's identified that there's two versions of PowerPath VE available. Uh, PowerPath VE 5.4 uh, was the original uh, GA release and is current as of the time of this recording. There's an upcoming PowerPath VE 5.4.1. Uh, um, remember that our ESX cluster and standalone host had varying degrees. Some of them didn't have PowerPath VE installed at all. Um, and this is basically how you would install it on those particular hosts. So you can see it's now applied to that individual baseline. Now that we've created a new baseline, we can apply it against either ESX hosts, clusters, or entire data center objects. So if we go and we uh, apply this, this is going to quickly show us uh, our degree of compliance. Clicking on uh, the data center level object, we can now attach that extension baseline, and of course we could attach the you know, critical host patches as well as the other baselines. And uh, after a few moments, uh, it'll reflect the degree of patch compliance across the entire data center. Um, you'll notice that we're 40% compliant. We've got several hosts that actually have PowerPath VE uh, 5.4.1 already installed. We have some that are actually back revved, and then we have some that don't have PowerPath VE installed at all. So now that that's done, we can actually stage them. Um, staging using VMware Update Manager will actually download all the patches and get them ready to update on that individual ESX host, accelerating the process. And we can identify which ones we want to uh, stage and which ones we want to skip. And you can see that this process is now starting. Um, and this is actually going to accelerate the remediation or actual patching process. Just to reiterate, uh, VUM uses this staging process to pre-stage and download the patches in advance to the ESX host so the actual remediation or patching process is much faster. Um, the PowerPath VE patches are relatively small so this doesn't take very long but in the spirit of just uh, saving a little bit of time let's fast forward a minute or two and here you can see that everything is now staged ready to be remediated. Now that we're staged let's actually remediate or patch the host themselves. 
VMware Update Manager is incredibly powerful because it's simple and easy and non-disruptive. Anyone who's looked at VUM in 3.5, I'd highly encourage you to take a look at it again in vSphere 4. Uh, lots of improvements, better performance, and scaling. But the key value proposition is very evident here. This process is going to involve some ESX host reboots, and you can see that we've got a running VM up on the cluster. VMware Update Manager is going to automate that entire process and leverage vMotion to move the workloads around, putting the host in maintenance mode in advance, which means that it's going to be completely non-disruptive. If we take a look and click at the uh, 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 data center level object and go and select remediate, we can identify which host that we want to uh, remediate and patch. It can be all of them, it can be some of them, just for this example here, we're going to just identify a couple hosts that we want to remediate. Um, you'll notice that we can give it a task and an identifier, it can be uh, scheduled, which is also fantastic. Um, and now off what it's going to do is it's going to uh, start to put uh, the host into maintenance mode and you'll see in the log that as it remediates that entity, which in this case is the ESX host, you'll notice that it's uh, entering maintenance mode, which includes migrating off that VM, which is being vMotion from one place to another, completely non-disruptively. Now this process is actually relatively quick and the PowerPath VE patches are relatively small, but let's fast forward a few minutes and you can see that we're now 100% compliant. It was simple, it was easy, it was non-disruptive. It really highlights the power of vSphere 4 Update 1, the improvements to VMware Update Manager, including the ability to add third-party patches to the VM kernel, such as PowerPath VE from EMC and the Cisco Nexus 1000V. Thank you very much for being EMC and VMware customers.